Hey everyone, today another example why I enjoy using AstroJS so much. So one feature that AstroJS offers is image optimization and you don't really have to do anything in order to achieve this. So as someone who does SEO, search engine optimization, this is a huge game changer for me. Let me show you. So I've got this page right here. This is the free blog theme that you get when installing Astro. It's completely free. If I open up, for instance, this first post right here, and right now, for instance, if I say something like hello, it will automatically refresh. All right, so far, so good. And right now I have this image right here, which is simply called image, and it's a PNG file, right? So if I open it up, as you can see, it has 600 kilobytes, which is really big. So if you're having a page and you want this page to rank on Google, you would have to really optimize this image. So the, the size is, is way too big and also it should be in WebBP format. Now let me show you what Astro does automatically when I just place this image right here into my blog post. So I've placed this image already in the public directory of my files. So right here, as you can see, there it is, image.png. And right now let's place it in the blog post. To do so, we simply say exclamation point and then we open up square brackets like this, and this is going to be the alt tag, so we can simply say something like my image, and then normal brackets, just like so, emg.png, and save it. And now, if I scroll down, as you can see, there's the image, right? However, when I take this image now that I have just placed in my blog post, and let's put it on my desktop, so you can see it, there it is, it's automatically converted into WebPP file, and when I open it up, as you can see, the file size is only 42 kilobytes. Astro did it automatically without us doing anything at all. The only thing that I did was putting it in a folder and place it in my blog post, which you usually have to do anyways, right? And this is one example, even if it's only a small one, why I love using AstroJS so much. And one thing to consider, if you place an image into your article, is these two dots. You have to place them because otherwise, AstroJS will not optimize your image. So the thing is, if I get rid of them and save it, the image will still be there. But when I place it right here, as you can see, it's still a, P a PNG image. And when I open it up, it still has 600 kilobytes. So in order to make this work, don't forget these two dots right here, save it. And then you have a WebPP file, which works great. Right guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.